said he got a plug on the merch. What you send it through? Lately, I've been looking at them primes like they minuscule. Ooh, hold on. Gotta see it through. I might hold a sword or a drake. I got different views. We can't even go out on a walk. We got different shoes. Told you all. You too. What up? My name is Bone and I bust shots. This video is my 2023 gun collection. Now this is not all my guns in my collection, but this is just a few of my favorites. So check them out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And just so we're clear, all guns in this video are safe. All right, first up, my M4. All right, not actually an M4, but the Colt LE6920. It is a M4 copy and about as close as you can get for civilians. So unfortunately it doesn't have the fun switch, but other than that, it even has M4 carbine stampings on it. Mine came with a Magpul handguard as well as a uh, front sight post, which is fixed. It came with Magpul flip up sights here in the rear and a Magpul uh, stock as well. So it's pretty decked out. Uh, I added a few things to it. I added the Sig Sour Romeo 5 Red Dot. I'm a big fan of Red Dots and I'm a big fan of the SIG Red Dot specifically. You'll see a couple more of these in this video as well. I would recommend though, learn to shoot with the iron sights. That is essential. Don't go putting a Red Dot on before you know the irons. So last but not least, we have a stream, stream light flashlight and a laser combo as well. What we have next, my James Bond gun. This is the PPKS. It is clear. This is my James Bond gun. Now, a lot of people don't know James Bond actually carried the PPK. Um, the difference between this is this takes the larger frame of the Walter PP and smashes it together with the smaller slide of the PPK and you get the PPKS. So this gun is timeless. It's stainless steel. It's a beautiful looking gun. I essentially have left it alone other than I took the uh, stock black grips off and put the wooden grips on, this makes it look that much better. Uh, but this is definitely a prize in my collection. Not fun to shoot though, I will admit. This beamer tail right here is not fun to shoot with this 380, but it is one of my prize collections. All right, let's get the party started. Next up, kel KSG. This is clear as well. I made just a few upgrades to it. I've got the Ariska hand style. I was hearing a lot of people were saying their hand was sliding up here and potentially could get in front of the muzzle, so we don't want that. Added the Ariska hand stop, Fayachi flip up sights. These are pretty cheap, but they get the job done. And the Keltec. Um, it's not actually from Keltec, but this is a recoil pad. If you want to know the kind, just comment below. I'll look it up and I'll tell you specifically. Um, but this is a great gun. It holds seven in each tube. So there's two tubes in this gun. Each holds seven. And you can put, as a total of 14, you can put a 15th one in the chamber and you're ready to go. So the only change I'm going to make to this is add in a breacher um, brake and maybe a red dot sight. But let me know if I should get away from the SIG red dots and you have any suggestions as well. Next, VP9. Law Enforcement Edition. It is clear, empty chamber. So what is the Law Enforcement Edition? That essentially means this comes with not one, not two, but three 15 round magazines straight from factory. It also comes with the night sights already installed. And uh, you know, I had to do something different. I switched it up, got the gray with the black. And the only change I've made to this so far is I threw a TLR1 HL um, light on the front. That's the thousand lumens coming at you it definitely lights up your home and if i had to choose a pistol for home defense this is the one i would go with next the maverick 88 by mossberg this is a beautiful gun it's simple i haven't changed anything with it i won't change anything to it it comes with an ati foldable stock um, this gun is long in my opinion. It's only 18 and a half inch barrel, but when you throw this stock on there, it gets pretty lengthy. A lot of people say that it's a rough shooter. I would tend to agree. This definitely is much rougher than the KSG I showed earlier. Um, it's even rougher 
when you fold that stock forward. Now, this is personally how I like to shoot it. It really wakes you up and lets you know that you're alive. Next, VP9SK, AKA Lil Bro. Empty magazine, empty chamber. Call this gun Lil Bro because the VP9 earlier that I showed you is Big Brother, the black and gray gun. This is Lil Brother. It came straight from factory with red dot cutouts, a luminescent front sight, two mags, 13 round mag and a 10 round mag. Uh, the only addition I did to this is I threw an Olight PL Mini Valkyrie on there and I serial coated the barrel to make it gold. Now, if you know me, black and gold are two of my favorite colors. If you know, you know. Moving on, Springfield M1A Tanker Edition. This is the Tanker Edition. It has a 16 inch barrel as opposed to some of the longer barrels. A lot of people like those longer barrels for the 308s just for the ballistics. Personally though, I think the shorter barrel looks better, it keeps the rifle more compact, and it still does a good job handling that 308 round. I'll show you that this is clear. Got an empty magazine, clear chamber. And uh, I saw this gun down in Houston. I just had to have it. I wanted something with wood to my collection that was powerful, still looked cool. And um, I had to have it. I had to have it. I bought it. It's been a piece of my collection ever since. And I love it. It's a powerful gun, relatively short for a 308, but it definitely gets the job done. Next is my baby, my Ruger LCP Custom 380. It is clear, empty chamber. This gun, what can I say? This is my hand, this is the gun. Very small, shoots a 380. It definitely likes to bounce around a lot. I'm not gonna lie, the recoil can get up there. But with that being said, you know, I love to just throw this in the holster, throw it in some basketball shorts, some joggers on my way to the gym, the uh, gas station, whatever it may be. And so this is a cool little gun. Some people carry it as a backup gun. If you carry two, let me know in the comments below. This will make an excellent backup gun. Ah, uh, what we got next? PSA AKP, PSA is Palmetto State Armories. I love, love, love their mission arming America with affordable firearms like this. This is a great gun. Uh, my first AK comes with a foldable brace. You can do that. Shortens the package overall. And you can still shoot this gun in the folded position. That's great. Take that out. Now the only additions, this was a Magpul uh, addition, so it pretty much had everything I needed. The only additions I made to it was a stream light on this side and you know I had to do it, the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 red dot on top. The cool thing about this, most AKs, the dust cover comes off, you can detach it and put it somewhere else. But with this, the dust cover is actually hinged, so it just helps your optics, your red dots hold zero a little bit better. And just the fact that it even has a Picatinny rail on the top, you know, AKs don't typically have that, you have to go with the Psych tool on this side. So that just makes this gun unique, uh, it's affordable, and it's just a cool shooter overall. All right, my last gun. I can't give the people too much. Last one is my EDC SIG P365. It is clear. And this gun is amazing. I even left the band on that says P365. It's black and gold. And like I said, those are two of my favorite colors. If you know, you know. It is a two-tone pistol. I had to do something different. I switched it up. The all black can get boring, all your guns being black. So I had to switch this up, do the two-tone. But this gun, I had to have it. It really revolutionized the game in the carry industry uh, and the gun industry overall. It squeezed 10 rounds into a package that's this small. That was unheard of. That was unheard of at the time. Then shortly thereafter, Springfield released the Hellcat. Uh, but this gun is really the one, the P365, that kicked it all off meant to be carried 365 days a year. And I can say personally, I've done that. I've done that, so I love this gun. This will be the last one I show you in my collection today. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Come on, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe, like the video, comment below. I wanna hear which of my guns you thought was your favorite, and I wanna hear what gun in your collection is your favorite for 2023.